On June 20th, Virginians participated in the primary elections to pick nominees for the offices of State Senate, House of Delegates, Commonwealth's Attorney, County Board, and Sheriff. The elections had nonpartisan registration, but voters could only vote in one party's elections. Final results for most offices are in, except for Arlington County's nominees for County Board, which could take another couple of days to be tabulated. In this year's primaries, half of the state Senate's 40 districts, or 20 seats, are up, while for the House of Delegates, only 24 seats of the 100 are up, as many nominees have already been chosen through internal party contests or candidates running without opposition. Highlights from the elections include the fired race in the redistricted 18th district between two African-American veteran lawmakers, Senator L. Louise Lucas and Senator Lionel Spruill Sr. Another key event is Arlington County's use of ranked choice voting for the first time in Virginia to pick its two Democratic nominees for county board. According to WUSA 9 News, some voters in Arlington County found the new 123 ranking easy, while others found the option of voting for more than one candidate and the 33.3% weighting required to determine the top two candidates quite complicated. According to the New York Times and the Associated Press, these are the most updated nominations or results of the primaries including state Senate Republican primaries, state Senate Democratic primaries, with Senator Lucas in the lead in the heated District 18, and Senator Deeds in the lead in the high-profile and close contest versus Senator Hudson in District 11, the House of Delegates Democratic primaries, the House of Delegates Republican primaries, and Commonwealth's attorney. Currently, Republicans hold a slight majority of seats in the House of Delegates and Democrats hold a slight majority in the Senate. However, with prominent issues such as abortion rights and affordable housing causing division and due to redistricting in Virginia, voters will have to wait till the general elections in November to determine the significant changes produced in the Virginia General Assembly's legislative bodies, specifically pertaining to majority and minority. The next elections are the November 7 general elections, marking the first time since 2019 the 40-seat Virginia Senate is on ballot and the first time since 2021 the 100-seat House of Delegates is on ballot. So all Virginia voters, mark your calendars for the general elections concluding the tight races for office. I'm Aiti Goginani, WUVA.